You learn something new every day. And sometimes it is not what you wanted to learn. Hey friends, welcome back to Vervain's Arcadia. We are in full swing moving mode at this point. I have one, maybe two projects if I'm feeling really ambitious to work on at my starter base, which means that I've been slowly moving all of my farming projects over to the area that we are moving to. So of course we have our industrial district, right? And over here, well, I have uh, moved and improved our ghast farm. And we're just gonna come right here into free cam. Somehow there's nobody in here screaming and dying. But it is much bigger, it has three spawning platforms instead of two. I've put a collection system in the middle so that I could make the size of the farm, the spawning platforms, the full 16 block radius. Well, not quite. I did keep it just a little bit smaller um, for our allies. Hello! It's a terrible sound, but it's also a little bit satisfying. So, Derek helped me develop this collection system very late at night one night, so shout out to Derek for that. Um, but basically, we have a note block in the middle, an observer timer underneath with a minecart going around, and we have, um, we have iron bars around it to control where the items end up falling. So they end up falling just around the outside of our iron bars here. Um, and then that hooks into a dropper system on the other side. Um, and it just moves downwards until we get to, you know, the actual like storage area. And like, it's still not super fast, but it's a nice little source of gunpowder and of course gas tears for our shop. But it just kind of goes as I fly around in here. And we do still have one little allay over there. Poor buddy. Where, where are you trying to go, bud? Aw. But then also, I've moved our turtle farm. And I also changed up our sand castle. And I love this. Saw the idea on Pinterest and I was like, ah, that makes so much more sense than the giant sand structure we had here. But yeah, we moved our turtle farm over and we're still waiting for these little guys to grow up but they should shortly because I've I've done a little bit of hanging around the area since they hatched but it's literally the exact same setup that we have that we had over at our witch farm we still have a couple of farms over there that were still the only instance of that farm that I have um so I moved the turtles over here in the middle of the night one night and we're gonna have to build a slime farm eventually, but I uh, emptied its storage and I've got a lot of slime blocks right now. So I don't think I have to worry about that for a little while anyways. I've also decided that I'm gonna put our villager breeder on this area of the island. Maybe that's a bad idea just for like lag's sake. I don't know, but we desperately need an iron farm upgrade. Actually, our uh, existing iron farm, I was over there the other night and the, the villagers had turned into witches. So that's my fault for not putting a lightning rod around. I kind of like, it didn't even register to me that, you know, that was something I should probably do for that. But anyways, we do need to get an iron farm going and well, we're obviously going to do it much bigger than what we've got over at our starter base. So I'm gonna need a lot of villagers. I don't think we'll be doing this today. I think we'll be doing this in the next episode. We'll see, we'll see how today it goes. Grow, babies, grow. You're so cute. Oh, hey, we had another, another turtle. Oh, there they are. And we've got the scutes up here, too, which is kind of cool. All right, where's the scute? Come on. Gimme, gimme. There we go. Yay! All right, these guys are all growing up, which means we can open the trap doors now, and they shouldn't be able to get through. Now, fun fact. Did you know that turtle eggs hatch faster 
You probably did. I'm just very new to this. But they hatch faster when they're in their own chunks. In their own blocks. So what I kind of found I want to do as a system for our turtle farm uh, is I like separating, you know, the first few eggs we get. Are you gonna like do something there? You're you're acting very agitated. You're acting like my dog when she hears the birds at the feeder outside. No eggs from you. Got it. Anyways. I've been basically doing a thing where I separate the eggs into their own blocks and then as those get a little bit, uh, as those hatch faster and get to like stage four, then I will start adding eggs from later, later batches to them and those later batches will just join the late stage that those are at and seems to work well. Now for our uh, next project, we need to we need to go over here so we can walk through and listen to the music again. The water droplety music. Hello friends. You get to come hang out with me some more today. Oh, by the way, I did fix I I fixed the issues that were like the last little tiny things on that song. So now it is absolutely untriggerable until it has played all the way through to the very end. It wasn't that much, but you know, my brain was not was not all there by the end of that project. I feel like this is an as per usual situation with the why are there black squares on my hands? I put the I put the skin file into the skin dex editor and there were no black patches on my hands, but the launcher says there are. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I feel like it's business per usual to be walking across the nether roof with passive or friendly or neutral or whatever mobs in tow. This is becoming quite a habit. I am not sure. Not sure how we're gonna make it down. All right, I just wanna get one of you through at a time, I think. What? Ah! Dude! You had no business scaring me like that. Sheesh! All right, I really hope we don't lose a dog. Ah, uh, of course there's a ghast. Oh, we can, we need to be so careful. I feel like, I feel like digging might be our best option. We do a little staircasing. Buddy, I need you to, I need you to not get in my way. Alrighty, and then we have a ladder and I'm not, mm. I'm not sure. Can you, can you go up and down ladders? Oh, you okay, bud? Okay. We will, uh, let's see. Can you get rabbit? Does rabbit work? The rabbit works. Cool. Good, good, good. Don't go anywhere. Don't move. Don't walk into fire or lava or anything else. And I swear, if, ah, how? No. 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 What? Come on, bud. Come on, please, please, please. Okay. Sheesh. Now, if you haven't picked up from the chaos, <laughs> we are doing a little bit of work on our wither skelly farm today. And the first thing is going to involve me going back up top. Not my favorite place to be. Um, but we are going to just kind of block off. Let's see. Oh no, oh no, sir. There should not be anywhere you can spawn around here. See, this is. Oh, he's dead. Cool. All right, here is our drop shoot. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna block this area off right now. That's gonna give us free reign and we'll go ahead and start just with this 
this part of the whole thing. Powdered snow. So that's 61. Um, it resets your fall height. Um, so if we put it in at 60. I think that that is the level we need to put it at. And we may need to change that. We will test that. We will test, you know, that fall height first. <laughs> Before, you know, putting dogs into our killing chamber. Which is kind of the ultimate goal of our upgrades today. Now, our next thing is going to be... Hopper mine carts, because our collection system still doesn't quite keep up with the sheer amount of things that we're we're putting in here. And hopefully this should also speed it up because they should be dying faster. Okay. That should I, I, I would like the mine carts to stop because like that's ridiculous. But that should get our collection system fixed up a little bit. <laughs> they are just flowing through there. Sheesh. There we go. That's great. That's great. Is we need to bring our little doggo friends. Actually, we don't need to bring them anywhere. We need to breed them. This is going to take a moment. We're going to talk about some mechanics here real quick because I'm excited about it. Um, So... As we talked about, powdered snow resets the fall of a, a mob. Um, and wither skellies have a normal, like, fall distance of 23 blocks. Well, 23 and a half blocks before they die. So a 23 block fall will put them down to one hit. And we want them to be at one hit because the dogs are going to attack them. Because, you know, dogs, skeletons, they chase them and attack them and kill them and all those things. But wither skeletons will attack back unless they die instantly. And obviously we don't want our little doggos to be attacked. Okay, we have so many doggos and we are just about ready to uh, start bringing them into here and we're gonna bring them one at a time and it's gonna be a whole mess, but you know what, it's fine. Uh, funny how this is like the longest part of this entire thing is getting doggos. The next thing, then, is going to be, let's see, going, going and opening up our, our drop chute, and hopefully this all goes okay. Whoa! I'm, what? No! No! Uh, uh, uh. No! 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 What the heck? Okay. Um. That is uh, problematic. Come on, guys. No! 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 Please! No! Oh no, of course, of course this happened. <sighs> you guys, come on. Come on, friends. All right, let me see your tails. Oh, they dying, they dying fast. I wanna get the XP and it's perfect and the items are getting picked up so fast. But are the dogs killing them? I think the dogs are killing them. I'm not... I'm not sure. Oh, they're getting hit. They're getting hit. No, that's not good. Buddies. Ah! Doggos, you are not supposed to follow me. What the actual heck? Ah! No, 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 no. What the heck am I hitting him with? My pickaxe, okay. Oh my... Gosh, I didn't hit any of you guys, right? Okay. Oh no! How? What? Okay. 
Okay, apparently that's uh, normal. You learn something new every day. And sometimes it is not what you wanted to learn. All right, I think, I think we may have our issues ironed out. I am here grabbing a regen potion and we had a baby turtle hatch. You're supposed to go towards the water, bub. Your, your parents are going towards the water. Where, where are you going? You're supposed to go towards the water. Silly goose. Anyways, let's go pop back through. I keep having dogs teleport to me from I don't even know where. It's mildly comedic. <laughs> and also very confusing. So one thing that happened was I slightly miscalculated where the powdered snow needed to go. So I had to move it up by one and now they are down to a good one hit kill. These poor puppers are getting really pushed around. Um, I don't know that there's a way to stabilize that. That's fine. See, they keep getting, they keep getting withered. I don't... Like, there should be no way for these guys to hit back at them. I may just need to toss out regen potions at them every once in a while. I don't know. Okay, for the most part, it seems to be running well. So, you know, that's cool. That's cool. All right, this thing has been a mess. I think we have it working in a decent system. I'm definitely gonna stock some regen potions around though. Um, if you have any ideas as to why uh, the skellies are sometimes hitting the dogs. Oh no! Ah, we lost one. Dang it. Anyways, if you have any ideas why that is happening, let me know down in the comments and I'm gonna try to do some research about it, but I am about done for the day. <laughs> oh, my little brain hurts again. Okay, we're gonna sit you here because, because I'm not going back yet. We're gonna go do one more thing. Alrighty, so here's what's up. We have neglected our duty as the server witch. And there is a little alleyway over... Uh, where'd it go? Right in here. And, well, as a server witch and a local drug dealer for some reason, um, <laughs> we really need to set up a little Easter egg here in the shopping district. Now, we have some genuine witch cola here, in addition to evil witch powder being around. And, well, we're going to set up just a little, little spot to sell, quote unquote, some genuine witch cola. Let's see, let's grab our redstone box. This should be super, super simple, right? And we put some genuine witch cola into our dropper. And now you can drop anything in here. We can drop a piece of dirt, for example, and we'll get some genuine witch cola. Now the idea is really gonna be to just drop whatever, whatever witchy goods people feel like sharing because this is a clandestine operation. And so we've got a little name tag that says, Psst, drop a witchy item for some witch cola Now you too can have your own genuine witch cola made with genuine evil witch powder. Once again, shout out to Pearl's younger sibling for this fantastic idea. All right, well, we will need to uh, increase the stash of witch cola for sure, but hey, it's there. Well, we have certainly had an interesting day full of puzzling things. Do let me know if you have any ideas as to what might improve the Wither Skelly Farm and specifically the dog killing system without getting the dogs killed. Why, why, why are the dogs getting hit? I need to know this. I will, of course, also do some researching on it and all that goodness. And hey, we got we got some good things done today. The ghast farm has been moved and the the whis whiskies are dying without me touching them, which is nice. And 
the, 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 the evil witch has once again taken up residence in the shopping district, it's fine. One of the best things about doing anything for me is sharing it with other people. So, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a like, and maybe leave a comment. Maybe about a weather farm. Weather Skelly farm. Maybe. And also consider subscribing if you're not already. My tales of misfortune and chaos will be back soon. And I hope that I will see you there in the next episode. Bye!